Yeah. yeah. The hybrid makes more sense. Your next car should be a hybrid. David and Rita Taylor own a vehicle repair business in Sanford. They thought it was a recession resistant career choice. We really felt that cars in general would keep us in business. Everybody has a car. There's always maintenance and repair. We thought we were going to be fine. The recent economic recession proved that Taylor's theory was incorrect, but what that threat of losing the family business did accomplish was to get David thinking about survival. With the slowdown in the economy, our normal flow of business in the repair shop had just died, and, and we were dying. We were really suffering from the economy, and um, you know we were down 40% from what we were last year. But David had placed a career development bet back in 2005 that was to pay off in early 2009. He enrolled in professional training for hybrid vehicle repair, despite his wife's observation that Taylor Automotive then had no hybrid business. I can remember more than once she asked me, are you sure you know what you're doing? And uh, because she could see the same thing I did, that we didn't have any hybrid customers, so it, it was a gamble at that point. The more David studied, the more he says he pinpointed a problem a growing number of hybrid vehicle owners were facing. After tens of thousands of miles and years of service, the batteries that offset the car's fuel usage were wearing out. If you Google hybrid batteries, there's, there's a ton of chat rooms and forums that people talk about the battery issue. And not Talking or complaining? Complaining. So the Taylor Family Kitchen Table became a research and development laboratory. It's where the family, fueled by prayers, a good hunch, and a lot of hope and faith, allowed David to tinker on hybrid car batteries. He is an inventor, and he's all the time creating things in their home. And so when he started doing this battery stuff, I knew it was just a matter of time before he would get it you know, worked out where we could actually use it at our shop. It was in early 2009, David says, he unlocked the mystery of rebuilding and refurbishing hybrid vehicle batteries to a like new status. Well, he's very kind, so we didn't lose any family time. Um, we, we homeschooled at that time our kids, so we were all kind of in and out, and he, he just kept everything to a confined area. So, um, But it, it was many, many, many days and many hours, long hours. David had to invent the machines he uses to renew and refurbish hybrid vehicle batteries. He says competitors can take a peek at his work, but his methods won't be revealed. Fortunately for us, it's not just in what you see. It's, it's the procedures that we go through to recondition the, right. the batteries that um, is really the, the secret. Hybrid batteries are slowly being shipped into Taylor Automotive where they're rejuvenated and returned to customers in states as far away as Hawaii and as far north as Canada. And if David and Rita's battery business can keep growing, it could reflect old-fashioned capitalism's reach into the new and greener economy. Did you receive a grant uh, from the government to test your theories, to put your battery into practice? Absolutely. Not. Why didn't you do that? There's lots of money out there you could have applied and gotten some of it, maybe. Well, the way I see it, and I, you know, I think that with every time you accept something for free, there's a, there's a cost involved. And I, and I think that that cost could be uh, tying my hands and not allowing me to do what I know how to do. The Taylors say their hybrid battery business is somewhat offsetting the struggling and traditional Taylor automotive repair operation. But they see green shoots of economic opportunity coming from David's invention. I can envision that once we get a little more exposure that our battery production is going to have to step up. And, and of course that's going to create more jobs of us needing more people to put things together and to actually ship them out the door. I'm just grateful for any income coming in that will help pay our overhead and our bills and be able to pay our technicians. So whatever God has planned, I'm willing. Thanks, sir. Y'all have a good day.